Hi, my name is Jean-Van Sique. I'm a PhD student at the University of Sherbrooke, Quebec, and you are listening to the recorded presentation of my scientific poster for ISMB 2022. The poster's title is Defining Immune Cell Expression Profiles with Single Cell RNA-Seq in Rheumatoid Arthritis Patients Knife to Treatment. To begin with some background on rheumatoid arthritis. Rheumatoid arthritis, also called RA, is a chronic inflammatory and autoimmune disease that causes joint pain, swelling, and damage. This inflammatory type of arthritis affects nearly 1% of the adult population worldwide. It is characterized by an alternation of asymptotic phases and symptotic flares. However, the pathophysiology of RA is still not clearly understood. Specific symptoms characterize RA, such as joint inflammation, progressive destruction of joints and articulation, or symptomatic flares. Those symptoms will lead to a diagnosis of rheumatoid arthritis. Over several patients diagnosed with RA, we would expect consistency in response to treatment. However, we observe a variability in response to treatment. That is, several patients not responding to the same treatments or even some patients not responding to any available treatment. This led us to predict that this difference is due to a plurality of immune alteration, causing distinct immune cell expression profiles, namely the RA endophenotypes. So, how to characterize distinct immune cell expression profiles between several patients? To conduct this study, we decided to use single cell RNA sequencing. Here we can see the data obtained from classical or bulk RNA-seq, which gives us the expression for each genes in a given sample. But one sample is often constituted of several cell types with their distinct roles and expression profiles. This is where single cell RNA seeking is interesting because it allows us it allows us to look at the expression genes in each cell present in the sample. This is crucial to our project since immune cells have very specific roles. To analyze the PBMC samples collected from patients, we built a single cell RNA seq pipe pipeline composed of step several standard steps. First, the mapping of the results to a reference genomes, then, filtering the genes and the cells to reduce noise, afterwards, clusters, clustering the cells sharing a similar global expression profile. And finally, automatically annotating those clusters with real immune cell types by interrogating gene databases with the gene specific to each cluster, thanks to a tool SCSA. Running the previous pipeline over our dataset, composed for now of nine newly RA diagnosed patients and nine matching controls, we obtain this graph. In this U map, each point represents a cell and its position represents its global, global expression profile relatively to the other cells, such as cells sharing a similar profile expression are closer in the U map. Running the pipeline, we obtain 11 annotated clusters of immune cell types. All right, we have our data composed of several samples. For each sample, the expression of each gene is stored for each cell and cells are regrouped by immune cell type. Now we need to be able to characterize the immune expression profiles of cell from a specific immune cell type and this for each sample. To do so, we start by averaging the expression of each genes over all the cell labeled as a common cell type, and this for every sample. Afterwards, we reduce dimensionally the expression of genes into two reduced variables, applying a PCA and then a UMAP. This gives us, for each cell type, two values reflecting the immune expression profile of each sample. 
Applying this method to CD8 plus T cell, we obtain two distinct groups of patients sharing a similar immune expression profile. Those two groups are not fully explained by clinical data such as sex of patients or seropositivity to error markers. This leads us to believe that it may represent distinct immune endophenotypes. Having defined those two endophenotypes, we can then label all cells from each sample with their respective endophenotype, and then make further analysis comparing the cell of each endophenotype, for example, comparing the distribution or specific gene expressed. Thank you very much for listening to this record, and I'll be happy to respond to any question during the poster session. Have a nice day.